I'll come back to you. Uh, you had a question. Um, uh, the question I have is I eat between uh, 12 and 6. Mm -hmm. And uh, when do you go into autophagy? Okay, so the question is autophagy. So does everybody know what autophagy is? Okay. So autophagy is basically called self-eating. Okay. One of the reasons we get older is because our proteins get senescent. Everything has a specific lifespan. Everything has a specific lifespan. When the proteins are first made, they're young, they're properly structured, but as time goes by, they lose their structure, they become senescent, they, they don't function properly. It happens in the brain, it happens in other organs, okay? If you store fat for a long period of time, it goes rancid, you know, it, it becomes oxidized, it goes rancid. So the body is charged with the responsibility of doing autophagy, clearing out that senescent protein, taking away the rancid fat. So the question is, is that how can you promote removal of senescent and rancid material from your cells. And one of the ways you can do that is with fasting. So when you fast, you don't have any carbs. So how many carbs stored do we have? Like if I stop eating now, how long will my carb reserves last? I mean, even if you're not metabolically healthy, let's say your liver will have 100 grams of carbs, and your muscles will have about, if you're very athletic, you will have maybe about 500 grams of carbs. So 100 grams of carbs means you have about 400 calories. So after an overnight fast, your carbs are gone and you, know, you will struggle. If your insulin levels are high, you will struggle to burn fat, you will feel hungry, you would want to go and grab something. So autophagy will start depending on how metabolically healthy you are. Let's say you're physically fit. Let's say your insulin levels are low. Let's say that your fat cells are healthy. Then you may start autophagy even at eight hours after you stop eating or even earlier. If you exercise, what does exercise do to carbohydrate stores? It depletes them. So people who do marathon running will initiate autophagy earlier. If you exercise while you're, while you're fasting, you will initiate autophagy earlier. Brain autophagy is very important. Removing senescent protein from the brain is very important because it gets replaced by new protein. So I used to think that because there's a group, there's a, a division between Jason Fung and another group, uh, and I'll not say the other group's name because I don't want to make them feel bad. <laughs> but they think that fasting is bad. And the reason fasting is bad is because you will burn muscle. So in other words, what happens is that when you start fasting, you first consume your carb reserves then the body is so adapted to using carbs that it'll convert, it'll burn muscle and convert it into carbs so that your brain can be fed. So when you do fasting, my liver will say, well, I will fast. Even the heart will say, I will fast. I'll slow down, my heart rate slows down, blood pressure goes down. The muscles will say, we will fast, no problem. But there's one organ in the body whether you're exercising, reading a book, sleeping, doing whatever, it says, I don't want to fast. I refuse to fast. What is that? The brain. So the brain refuses to fast and the brain can, in the beginning when you're not fasting, can only utilize glucose, can only utilize sugar. It'll convert to using fat, a kind of fat which is called ketones, but it takes time for the body to make ketones. So what happens is that in the initial part, for the first week, you will burn a lot of muscle 
to convert it into glucose. And so this group says fasting is very bad because you are losing lean muscle and when you eat, you replace it with fat and hence don't fast. And Dr. Fung says, no, fasting is very important because it promotes autophagy and, and if we burn muscle and replace fat, we would be just globs of fat and so you are wrong. So there is not completely great data to support either contention. You can, you can pick up stuff from literature and support either contention that you want. But I personally think that when you do fasting, a human body that is so smart is not going to burn this good muscle it has. It's going to burn the junk muscle. You know, when you, if, you, if you are in a beautiful mansion in the middle of a snowstorm, you're not going to burn your furniture to heat up your house. You're going to burn firewood, right? I mean, if we are smart, why can't the body be smart? So I think autophagy is essentially a very important thing, and that's why one of the primary things we tell people is do fasting. And another primary thing that we tell people who are fasting is that do exercise. Okay. So let's kind of take off on a tangent a little bit and say, let's say this person is fasting 18 hours a day for one month. Started, just started now. What will happen to their weight? It'll go down. At the end of one month, they keep fasting and they go to two months. What happens to their weight? It plateaus. Why does it plateau? I mean, they're still heavy. Let's say they're still heavy. The reason it plateaus is because your metabolism slows down. So it's important while you're exercising to do, uh, while you're fasting to do some exercise because exercise jacks up your metabolism. And what's the kind of exercise you should do when you're fasting? Perfect workout is good. I don't think it's, uh, it's bad. The, uh, what I meant by that question is that you should do low intensity to moderate intensity exercise. So strength training is a bonus? So strength training is good. You know, I, I think that's all right. It's at only a 20 minute session or something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. So the reason uh, you want to do low intensity or moderate intensity exercise is because high intensity exercise will force the body to burn carbs, whereas low intensity exercise or moderate intensity, you can still be burning fat. And so your body will not have to go and convert muscle to make glucose for your exercise. You see what I mean? So that's why when you're fasting, especially a prolonged fast, and you're exercising in the fasted state after 12 or 14 hours, Cut down the intensity of your exercise so that you don't have to make glucose from breaking your muscle. 